about a month ago, I uh, published the State of Go 2016 survey uh, inspired by a comment from Damien Risky. Uh, and I just wanted to share those with uh, GopherCon. Uh, and I promised to follow up with a uh, blog post and anonymized version of the responses. Hopefully those are visible. Um, so there was 2,500 responses in total. Um, most of the people obviously used Go. Um, most people seem to upgrade and move along to current versions pretty quickly. Um, so I guess we're the Apple of the programming languages. Um, people who use uh, Tip or Head, they seem to upgrade uh, or update uh, every week or month or so, at the very least. Um, People who install Go, let's see, how do they install Go? From, they either untar, the vast majority of people untar, which is the red blob, um, but uh, more so would like to use packages, apparently. Oh, let's see, we can do that probably. Is that better? There we go. Oh, they're there, awesome. Uh, most people, 50%, home Go, that, that's their Go path, which makes sense to me. Um, we're pretty much split between uh, Linux and OS X uh, for development purposes. You'll see another slide for deployment later. Um, vendoring tools, all over the map, but a lot of people choose to know, use no tool. Uh, mind you, this is, does not total 100% because it was multiple choice because some people need to use multiple tools. Um, let's see. A lot of people still prefer no tool, even though there are a, a wide selection of them. Um, we're pretty much split as a community uh, between checking in a uh, vendor or not into your source control. A um, lot of people did nothing before uh, vendoring uh, as far as tooling. Um, I'm also the maintainer of Godep. Uh, I was apparently missing when Kelsey announced that earlier uh, in the conference. Um, but a lot of people did obviously use that because that was pretty much it aside from submodules. Um, we don't have very, we don't, a lot of, pa a lot of things do not use Go package in. Um, Semver tags. There is actually a good deal of people who do tag the releases with Semver. So I think Dave Cheney really wants to push that even more. So next year I'd like to see that number more up to like 80 or 90%, if not 100. Um, overall, I'd say middling to mostly satisfied with a uh, vendor so far. Uh, Vim wins out as an editor, along with Emacs, Atom. Um, I, I personally like Visual Studio Code. I never thought anything would pull me away from Vim, but it has. Um, every, pretty much everybody uses syntax highlighting. I know there are some people who don't, though. Uh, three quarters, roughly, code completions turned on. Uh, and for the most part, most people are pretty happy with what their editors uh, provide as far as support for Go. Mutexes, getting into HTTP libraries and things like that. Uh, most people try to use the standard lib, but Gorilla and HTTP router are somewhat popular. Uh, as far as frameworks or toolkits go, again, standard lib or nothing, um, but Jin and what is it, Gorilla, I believe, are popular. Uh, most people don't seem to use microservice toolkits. I'd highly recommend, if you are interested in, in this thing, try out at least these three. Um, most people have read at least parts, if not more, of the Go language spec, which is good. I was actually uh, expecting that number to be much higher. Uh, most people have read Effective Go. Uh, I did not have as good of a breakdown for that one, though, which I'll try to fix next year. Um, most people don't seem to need to use uh, CGO directly, although I'm sure they use it indirectly. Um, as far as what people are, tend to be building with Go, they seem to be building uh, primarily uh, a wide mix of things that you normally expect, HTTP, uh, endpoints, microservices, command line utilities, things like that. Um, interestingly, a lot of the stuff is private. Um, maybe because I work from Hero for Heroku, I'm kind of uh, heir to the side, like everything should be pretty as open as possible. Um, for testing, the standard lib, um, is uh, used by the vast majority of people. About three quarters of people do not use something else. Of the people who do use other things, Testify, Ginkgo, and these other libraries were uh, prevalent in the write-in responses. Table tests, 50-50. Uh, benchmarks, no, and this made me really sad. 
um, because every time I, when I was learning Go and I would ask, is this faster or that faster, every wise person would tell me, well, have you written a benchmark? Uh, and now I try to write benchmarks as often as possible. Um, CI systems, it's pretty spread out. Um, PProf. On the left side, we have never, and on the right side, right side, yeah, <laughs> we have daily, so I'm also surprised by this. Um, it's even worse for trace. Um, so these are tools I think, if you have, don't use them, you should look into. They're really good tools. Um, this uh, additional tools that people use, this was not exhaustive enough. That was pointed out to me pretty, uh, pretty regularly on Twitter and other places. Um, let's see. As a community, we, I think we do a, fair good, a fairly good job of contributing to one or more. And there's like three more. No. We, uh, we rate ourselves pretty well as a community, or highly. Uh, anyway, they're gone, right? Yeah. <laughs> they're Any gone. questions? There's more. I'm going to do a blog post as a follow-up. And once I can make sure the date is anonymized, I'll make that available too. So you can hopefully somebody else have an awesome insights.